today's video is about setting up the Forest Master Ultimate Sawhorse, also sometimes known as a buckjack. It's a cantilevered sawhorse that's going to hold firewood so that we can level it out and chop, chop, chop. It's not the easiest thing to put together, we're finding out. Once we get it put together, we're going to be using a Snow Joe Co. Sun Joe Hydraulic Log Splitter to replenish our stock of firewood. We opened up the box and started assembling the sawhorse. It turned out to be pretty confusing. Ultimate sawhorse, huh? This is the front. These both have to be the front legs. Because of the way the bolts line up. That's just the way the bolts line up. So the instructions aren't completely clear on this part, I guess. This would be, that's, that's going to be correct. Because this is going to have a tang across there. Right. This is going to be correct. That's going to have a tang across there. Those are, those are going to be correct in that. So I was understanding that, that, now how does... We couldn't figure it out. So time to consult YouTube and find a how-to. So you've got it kind of put together, but not tight. I got like three pieces together. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe five. <laughs> it looked like a simple thing. It looked like a simple thing. Do you want me to check the box for instructions? There are instructions. I follow the instructions. Oh, there's one. Our new toy. Making life easier on the homestead. I guess it has to be the same model, right? That might not be how to assemble it anyway. I'm about to find out in three seconds. <laughs> I try to do this systematically. Here, you come here. Okay. Step one. Connect the left upper one and two B blades using this. So that was connected. Note, if the left upright is laid flat as shown in the diagram, it has a longer firmer projecting to the left and the right one has the firmer pointing to the right. So. Which part are they considering the ferrule? That. Here. So. Oh, no, that's the ferrule. Okay. Right. So laying it as flat as shown, this is all right, so this is going to be this is going to be the left. This is the left. Okay. The longer firmer is pointing to ah. See, I think I read it like this. They're doing it like this. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. So. So the picture to the right goes to the top. The top goes to top, and bottom goes to bottom. Right. Okay. Not so, up and down. So this is the left. Okay. This is the. Right. This is a crazy looking contraption. This is the right. This is the left. Okay, so, but if that's the case, and both of the longer ones are supposed to be facing the front, they must have sent me a wrong one, because how does this line up in there? Oh gosh, I see. There's like four options for everything. Okay, I'm going to explain this so that you can understand. Okay, so if these things are what they call the fee rules, and if you're putting one of these together and you're having trouble, we now can explain what's wait. going on with these parts. <laughs> If, if you're putting this together and having trouble, here's, here's what's going on. This one's shorter, this one's longer. But if you look here, because this bar is to the outside and this bar is to the inside, this is why this one has the shorter one and this one has the longer. And then if you look up this way, the one on the right is a little bit shorter because it's the inside gripper and the one on the left is a little bit longer because it's the outside gripper. Bill's swapping these bolts around so that the raw part of the bolt is on the inside, away from our flesh, so that we don't accidentally rip ourselves up. So this is the Forest Master Ultimate Sawhorse. The idea is going to be that we can can lever logs and then chop, chop, chop. It says it has a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> so far, they're not. They're not there yet. <laughs> so far. <they're... laughs> You're not 100% satisfied just yet. <laughs> Their instructions are lacking. The company would do well to, to make a how-to video. I think, I think that what's going on here is it looks like when I was reading this, some of the strange, like when it says, there was something with an ING and it had a dash between it. It looks like the instructions have been translated from another language and then another one after that maybe been through two translations. What's the next step? 
<laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> okay, so that's the front. All right. I guess we put the back legs on? I don't know. I'm oh no, there's another, is there another set of those gripper things? No, there's not. You guys ready for a bath? You ready for a bath? You want a bath? You want a bath? A trim? A bath? Uh-huh. Waggy, 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 waggy. Bill's got it put together. The main slowdown was this part right here, figuring out the short ferrule goes with the inside gripper and the longer ferrule goes with the outside gripper. That was the toughest part. When you look at this, it doesn't look like it was all that much to put together, but it was a little bit confusing. It was a good thing we had a socket set. And we are now ready to, <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna practice on this, but we're going to put a piece of wood on it and give it a try. Okay, so is it... Okay, so I lifted it, let the chain drop a bit, and it like this, and then chop, chop. But you, on this, if it's on this side, you have to watch that you're not... Yeah, I'm just going yeah, you, to make sure you don't go through the... And ours for our stove are about this long, right? About 14 inches? About 12 to 14. 12 to 14. So this will be a chop here and a chop here. All right, we've got the whole thing set up, ready to go. Our next step is going to be to get the chainsaw out and cut this into 12 to 14 inch lengths, which is what our wood stove holds best. One of the rules around here is when the chainsaw comes out, so does the bleeding control kit. Tourniquets are ready. Hope to never use them. Here we go. All right, we've been trying it out. We like it. It's making the processing a lot easier, Bill says. The slowest part is readjusting the chain because it gets caught as it's supposed to in these little holes. That's what it's supposed to do. So every single time you have to kind of feed it back up. I don't know another way to do that, but it doesn't take all that long.
going to move it over to where we've got a Sunjo splitter because this wood is going to have to be split. It's just a little bit too big to go into our wood stove. It works good. Yeah. yeah sure. Okay, so you took the pins out. Very compact. To the splitter. The next step in this process is splitting the wood with our Sun Joe log splitter from Snow Joe Co. It's a hydraulic splitter with a release that allows the piston to be returned to its original position with a big spring and it works great. Wow. Perfect split. <laughs> Wow, that piece will burn for hours. We can burn it like that or I can put it through. You know that only took about 30 seconds to split. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, and this one took about 11 seconds. <laughs> Look at the grain on that. It's tight. It's like it was really, really slow, slow growth. The Sun Joe has two levers. Advancing both levers advances the piston slightly more rapidly, and then you can use just the left lever for higher torque and then the right lever for smaller, easier strokes. We've learned how to make the most of all the levers and the combinations in order to work the fastest on splitting the wood. We can use both. We can split that again or. I mean, the thing is that it'll, this will burn for so long, it's so hard still, that it's almost better to split it. My mom always says that a wood fire heats you three times. I think it's one time when you cut down the wood, one time when you split it, one time when you carry it in, and actually there would be at least a fourth time when you burn it. That's why we've been taking kind of seriously our handheld implements that we're using to maintain our stash of firewood. The Snow Joe Co. Sun Joe Log Splitter I picked up from Amazon for a present for Bill for Christmas. We use an Echo Chainsaw. We have a secondary Poulin Chainsaw, but I'll tell you a trick. If you you don't have two saws to cut one that you get stuck loose then at least keep two blades one that gets stuck in the tree and you remove the motor and put it on the other blade to free your stuck blade the forest master ultimate saw horse is from olympia tools bill ordered that from amazon i'll leave links to everything below and next up we're going to be taking advantage of some part pine that we dug up and using a swedish cast iron handheld kindling splitter that is absolutely amazing for its simplicity and functionality. It's called the Spontan. I hope you found this useful. I hope this helped you if you were trying to assemble the Force Master Ultimate Sawhorse and ran into the same confusion that we did. Please leave a like below. Click the like button and subscribe so you get the next video on the Spontan. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Cooking on the fire tonight. Homemade lasagna with homemade noodles. Oh boy.